Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Um, first, this is part two actually of a um, this uh, project that we're working on together, a little Valentine's Day project. So if you missed uh, part one, go back and watch that one before uh, before you watch this one so you know what's going on. Or you can just pop in here and just watch where I am in the process. Um, before I get going, I wanted to thank all my subscribers. I hit the 300 uh, subscriber um, number and I did a giveaway on that. And uh, I want to say um, congratulations to Dawn Stafford. I did a video of, of the actual giveaway, and it is um, the last video, and I did it this morning. And uh, if I don't hear from Dawn, um, I'll actually give her, like, I'll try to reach out to her um, and see if I can get her address if I don't hear from her in a couple of days. And if I don't and I can't get a hold of her, then Dorothy Noons is the runner-up. So congratulations, Dawn. All right, now, where we were last is I believe we had made, we cut the file folder in half, well, kind of in half, and it actually it's more it was more like this one where the tab is over at the side and I think the tab was on this side and it was like probably two-thirds and then this was the cutoff and we're making that into a journal and the last I think we were had done is um we had finished this uh we're partway finished because we have to embellish it and i Embellish it, probably make some more pockets, and we're going to load them up with some of these beautiful um, vintage Valentine's Day images that I pulled up off of the Graphics Fairy. I also have this um, Great St. Nicholas magazine. I have several of them, and you can see the cover has come off of this. It's February 1916, and I scanned... Uh, some images from that to go into the little journal and here are a few of them and we will cut these down i did them on uh, a parchment paper um parchment paper not the cooking kind this kind a parchment specialty paper and um it's 24 pound and um, you can see through it. I like I like how that uh, inks up and it distresses and ages quite nicely. So, so I printed a few from there, including this. And this didn't quite print right. It's on a white. It, I ran out of this in my um, printer. That one didn't print right, but here's a little Valentine's Day poem here. So I'm going to probably try to find room in the journal for that. So what I did is off camera, I went over and I sewed around here. Let, let's sit because today we're going to um, work on the journal and possibly do some decorating on this this little file folder. Now the journal will fit right in here. So we will have that in there and then the front will be full of uh, ephemera and tags in the pockets. I did fold this up and uh, then this has been sewn around. Okay, the back is plain. All I did was ink it. Okay, so that's plain. Then we made the cover and picked out the papers. And I had, uh, Put the cardstock on the front of the cover and then off camera I came back and did a little piece on the spine. Make sure I'm in frame here. And then I came in and I did some cardstock uh, trimmed out on the inside. And you can, this is a pretty, you know, sturdy little, little journal. And we've got two pockets here, one here, 
and one here and I just did a little notch in them and then I added some more cardstock down the middle of the spine and then sewed around this. Then we chose the papers together and what I did is I cut down the papers uh, to fit in here and this journal we measured it out last time is uh, five and three quarters uh, width or length by five and well five and five and a half wide. So I cut the papers to fit in the journal and uh, we haven't I haven't sewn it in yet so we will do that today and then we will go in and probably add some pockets so we have this piece and this piece this is actually cardstock so I'll definitely put a pocket on that we don't want to make it too big because then I won't be able to uh, fit it in here um, that's my iPad. Let me turn my iPad off. Okay. Sorry, guys. Because we'll probably end up having a lot of dinging. Okay. Well, for Pete's sakes. Trying to... There we go. Okay, so I silenced that. All right. So I came in and I did ink the papers after I cut them down to size. And we have a little uh, pink doily here, a little postcard there. This one looks like we need to do a little inking on this one. So let's do that right now. And then I did pull out some stamps. So I might come in before I sew it in and maybe do a couple stamps. This one kind of looks a little Christmassy though to me, but it's holding a box of heart, a heart box of candy. So I think it could go either way. This little bear, he's cute. And these are just hearts. And this is just says, be my Valentine. Uh, also, I have some die cut hearts and I might cut a few of those out and I might use one as a pocket, a big heart here. So I'll f let me pull those out actually right now. I keep, I keep my, um, here, let me put the ink on. I keep my, um, some of my die cuts in this art bin. And uh, let me go down here. These are magnet magnets, by the way, if you haven't ever seen these. So they, they kind of, they hold your metal, your metal dies. And I just have them all stacked up. See, there's my circles. I don't know if you guys can see this. Probably not. I might pull, I have these little tabs. Maybe we'll put some tabs on the end of the papers. Um... Let me just pull, a, let me pull these out, these three. And I might come back and do some tabs. Either that or I might do some lace tabs. Okay, here's my hearts, and this also says love. So maybe I will, let me just pull this whole sheet right out. So I, rem, I can remember, I don't know if we'll get to the pocket on the front today. This is probably gonna be a three-parter. Um, all right, so those are the dies. So we'll probably use those. All right, let's go back to, um, let me move this folder aside, okay? And uh, let's ink this. I have a new uh, vintage photo coming. Um, I, this, uh, this is pretty much, uh, <laughs> this is pretty old and it's not even absorbing any ink refill, much of any ink refill. So what I did on some of the inking, let me make sure I'm staying in frame. Let me pull my chair up. Um, is I did come in, I have other, you know, 
walnut stain. I've got a lot of other and the brown shades and stuff. But I came in and I pulled out my Distress Oxide because that one is in good shape. So we'll see. I might have to use that. And I always like to do the insides. Oops. My, my nails are peeling. Um, the inside where it uh, is sewn in to the journal if I, if I want that real vintage look. You know, I don't do all my books vintage and all my projects. Uh, I did a share of my cards recently, and you saw there was very few vintage, real vintage-looking cards in that. Now, where do we have this? We had this right here. Okay, just tucked in there. That cute little pink. I actually had to cut this pink doily down. And I wanted to put a doily in here because look how these are. They're so cute. They have, they these little valentines have like a doily behind them. None of these have been inked. So those will be either tuck spots. Or, and then we have a, a coffee stain paper here. A doily here. Uh, some of this romantic, uh, it's French love letters that I cut down uh, for size. Then uh, this is um, from 19, this book, for, what did I say? It's a children's book, a French children's book. And I don't, here, let me pull it. I think 1950 or 43 or even, even older than that. Oh, I don't know what I did with it. This is the cover. And I'm going to make a journal out of the cover. I, I put the guts somewhere. I don't know where they are. The pages that I removed. Anyway, so I think it was 19, uh, early, 19, late 40s or early 50s, French. And so that I tucked in there. I thought that would be cute. Uh, some of that vintage graph paper, this little um, paper bag. And now what I had to do with this is it was too big, excuse me. So I simply just folded up the side like this. I mean, you could trim it down and then resize it and, um, you know, if you wanted to. But I thought that would be fine. And then you could have a, like a little tuck spot in here. So... Possibly, but there's still plenty of room in that little bag and we'll cut off the other side. Then we have some more coffee stain or no, this is tea, tea stain paper in here, not coffee and more of that French uh, antique French love uh, letter, uh, more of this cute uh, paper. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to try to get you guys just a tad closer if I can there we go there we go I hope I'm not too close now am I too close uh, I just want you to be able to see the details okay where were we uh, okay another little piece of that book page because I cut it in half so I put both um, pieces Okay, um, that typewriter um, card stock. And this is the middle of the signature and we will put a pockets in here. So those are the papers, okay. And we're going to work on these. So first thing I pulled out, what I like to do is sew in, put my pockets if I'm gonna sew any of my pockets in first. And then before I embellish my pages, sew it into the journal. So I think we will, um, I'm, I might wanna do a, a pocket here that's sewn on the card stock. So let me see what we have. Okay, I've got this, some cutoffs. I have this. I also actually have a little pocket 
that I made to go on the inside cover. Let's see if I can find it on. Yeah, I had made this to go here, but then I realized that I was flipping these in. So that pocket's all made, but it's I think it's gonna be a little bit long, but we can cut that down. I'll trim a little off of each side. That way this is in the middle. And then we can sew, sew around that. So let me just mark this. Probably like that. Get a pencil here. Actually, let me get the pencil that has an eraser. My dog, my dog enjoyed this pencil, as you can see, that the erasers chewed off it. I have to be careful what I drop on the floor in here because he's he's the puppy, my little rat terrier little guy. He's well, I call him a puppy. He's practically nearly two now, but he still chews. He not like he used to, but if he's bored, you know, and I don't have a bully stick out, he'll chew. So, chew something, whatever's on the, and I don't want him to get sick or, you know. Very cautious when I leave the house. Let me move this aside. Actually, I should clip those pages. Okay, that will fit right there. And then I'm going to see if I have another one that matches this. And this pack of papers over here. Yeah, here it is. So since it's the middle, I'm just going to go ahead and mark this so they're the same size. And then uh, I like to sew the pockets in. If you don't want to, you don't have to sew anything. I mean, I just, I like the way it looks. You can just glue them in and I will glue a little bit before I go to the machine. Oh, I forgot to mark the bottom. Um, simply because it shifts on me when I get to the machine, so. All right, and we want these to be the same. Okay. So I started a diet today, guys. Now, I haven't dieted in a long time because um, I just have been very lazy about it and haven't had the, I just, well, I wanted to eat. Let's just say it like it is. And I'm gonna make sure the notches are in. So I thought, well, you know, uh, let me find my, let me find my hole punch. Um, well, I had a, oh, here it is one and a quarter oh goodness I think it's gonna be one of those days all right so what I was saying is um so I thought well you know things are I'm just I've been gaining weight and you know I I'm on some different meds for I have RA so I'm on meds for that and I've got some fibromyalgia going on and got some issues and so I'm not I'm slower than I used to be and uh, so I'm not doing the exercising like I used to because I've already had a knee replacement and things they hurt and uh, the, what I really need to do is exercise in a pool but we don't have a pool at this house we had a pool at our house before last and I was able to keep my weight under control pretty good with that so anyways I thought well there's got to be another reason why I'm gaining weight so I went to the endocrinologist to, I said it's got to be my thyroid it's got well definitely because you know I'm just gaining way too much weight I just don't get it and really I don't have a large appetite at all but my activity level is just much slower. I mean, when I'm in a flare, that's that's time when I, I can't 
I'm in bed sometimes. So, you know, that's just the way it is. So I went over and he did every T test out there. T3, T, total T this, total T that, uh, TSH, all of that. I went back in and I'm like, oh, he's going to tell me it's the thyroid. I'm going to get on some thyroid meds and I'm going to lose the weight. And so... I had the test done. He even did a scan of an uh, ultrasound of my thyroid. He said there was a nodule in there and oh, whatnot. So I went back and I got my test results and I walk in. He goes, your thyroid's clean as a whistle. <laughs> so I just looked at him. I'm like, I wanted to say, check it again. Check it again. <laughs> there's, there's no way. There has to be something wrong with my thyroid. And he said, um... You need to go on a diet. <laughs> and he said, "Are you, are you, um, are you uh, working out?" And now this is hard for me to say no because before I got sick, I had my own personal fitness training business where I was um, ACE certified, and I went to school, and I had a really good. Uh, my own business going and I did that for I don't know 15 years or or more and here here I am I had to say nope I'm not doing I'm not working out obviously you know it's the calories you know and I've been eating a little chocolate here and there and stuff like that so to make a long story short, I gotta go so bad, don't I? I'm getting, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. Um, I started a diet today, and I'm, I'm tracking my calories. So let me sew this real quick, guys. Sorry, I gotta go away from you for a minute. I'm sorry. I wish I had my machine over there. I, I just, I don't. So I'm just gonna sew around here. And um, we're gonna have a little noise for a minute. Sorry, guys. So I'm just doing a zigzag stitch over here. Okay, so just talk amongst yourselves. I think I hear Gail Agostinelli always say that. She she usually has the machine with her now, I guess, if she's going to be sewing. But I remember when she'd have to get up and run over to the machine, I think it was her, that said, okay, talk amongst yourselves. I'm actually sewing all the way around the entire paper. Just for looks. Almost done. I think I'm going to start, if I'm going to do many of these tutorials, I think I'm just going to start bringing my machine and setting it up on this desk because I have to go to another little desk over there and that's where my machine is set up. Okay, so I sewed around that. And I don't, do we want to do any more pockets before I sew it in? Uh, I'd like to do a pocket here. Um, so I think what I'd like to do though, let me move these. Actually, yeah, let me just move these aside. I'd like to use one of these cute little... Um, this is so cute, to and from. And then we could round the edge. We could use that or we could actually, what else do we have here? These are Valentine's. Could use this cute, this is cute. Now, you know what? I like these. Look how cute that is. Do I wanna do it here, right in the middle or? Now I think I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. Here, let me just get my scissors. 
I ordered a new pair of scissors. They're like the fake Tim Holtz ones, and I saw it on Tracy Fox. They look exactly like this. She said, these are the old ones. You can see, I think they, they're white or, or they're black now. These are, these are super old, but I've kind of done a lot of boo-boos with it. You see all the notches? I cut chains and this and that, and I don't know if it's really meant to go through that. So now I can't cut paper with those anymore. Not very well. So I ordered, um, they, it's like the off brand and they, of uh, that, I probably only saved like two bucks to be honest with you, but, um, I, I'm excited to get them cause I, I need, I need to cut through paper. That's normally what I cut. Okay. Let's go ahead and just put a little bit of glue and you see I have this tiny squirt bottle this whoopsies there we go having some fluid retention today so my fingers are pretty swollen and they're not I don't like that feeling you know what I need to drink more water So for breakfast, and I'm not good at eating breakfast. I skip breakfast most of the time. And I know that that's not good. You should eat breakfast. It's, you know, I mean, there's different. Hey, nowadays they're saying fast for, I don't know, only eating a four hour window and this and that. And I don't know. But anyway, so I did eat breakfast. I had um, Greek yogurt, the 0%, and I had fresh blueberries. So I was very proud of myself. I could barely get it down because I just don't like to eat before noon. So, but I'm going to do it. I'm trying to develop better lifestyle habits because I've really fallen into let me make sure I'm on. Falling into some bad habits. Just poor habits. I've just been... And I need to get out. I do have, a, like, a. we live in South Florida, so, I mean, the weather's usually nice all the time. And I have a beach bike, you know, like it's a cruiser. And uh, I, my husband and I each have one. I haven't been on it in probably over a year. So, these are cute, huh? So, these will be cute for a little tuck. So, we'll see. We'll find something to tuck in there. Um, now, I did pull out some of this red lace. And I had thought about possibly maybe doing a little lace on this. I don't know. I don't know if I want this to have lace on it. I actually had ordered the Simply Red kit from uh, Linda Israel Shop, and she sent, it came with all these great trims. I thought, oh, you know, I haven't done that yet. This is cute, this envelope. We'll put that in there. I haven't made a journal from that set yet, but look at this. See, these are, this is fun. This will probably go on a tag. We'll make some tags. All right, enough of that, and let's go ahead and see if I want any more pockets before I sew this into the signature. So we have that, and you know, if we do, if I decided to put decide to put a couple more pockets in, you know what? Let me get my fancy scissors and cut the other end of that. I just have these a box of these and gosh i've had them for a long time i'm looking for the mini pinking here see the mini pinking and it's almost the same so what i'm going to do is i'll go ahead and cut let me make sure i'm in frame cut I'm just going to cut right around here. It doesn't have to be the same. I just like that little design. Let 
They don't cut the best, but they're fine for this. There. So I just opened up that little that little sack there, that little bag. Remove those. Okay. Now I'm going to hit, let me see, anywhere else? Nope, I think this is good. So let's check all our papers before we sew it in. Do I want to take this to the machine and sew around it? I do, guys. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm going to sew one more time. And then, you know, when we make the tags, I'll sew those off camera. So... I'm just going to actually just sew down the sides and across the bottom in a little decorative stitch. Okay. I probably should have done this earlier, but... ripped my paper. Oh well. Oh well. leave the strings oops sorry about that tripped on my scoreboard okay I'm back and I did a little went a little wonky here with the sewing but that's okay kind of gives it a little bit of character let me just trim a little bit of these off okay so where did we have that I think that was this was here I think this was here, and then this is here. Okay, now we'll go ahead. Let me check my papers. See that um, this little thing is off. So, okay, I want that there. Okay, that there. All right, let me make sure everything's good. Book page is good. Okay, what I do here is I find the middle of the signature, okay, and um, we're going to just put the clip. This is so small. Let me see if I have, yeah, I'm going to use a smaller clip. You know, that bag, wait a minute. No, that bag's okay. Let's you know, if you don't always get everything lined up, you know, trim hides a multitude of sins, if you know what I mean. Um, you can hide your mistakes with trim and lace on the edges and things like that because, gosh, we all make them. Um, I think you've, if any of you have watched me for a while, you know I've done where I've sewn the um sewn the signatures upside down papers upside down just that kind of stuff all right now this is going to be pretty simple i don't even have to really make a template i just want to make sure that we get right in the middle so we're going to come down probably a half of an inch let me see if i can find my little ruler here it is let me move some of this stuff on the desk. And uh, so this, this is five, no, four and three quarters. I think before I said five and three quarters, this is four and three quarters. So I just want to mark the middle of that. And it doesn't really have to be perfect. Am I even in front? Sorry, guys. 
Um, but I'm going to come down. I usually, if I'm making a full size journal, I usually come down one inch. But this is not a full size, so I'm going to come down just eyeballing it right in the middle because it's just a one signature. And we're going to do a half of inch, half an inch each way. And hopefully this lines up. And I sometimes I, you know, make, I usually make a template. And then we're just going to find the halfway point in between those two. I should really make a template. I'm going to mess this up. You know, I, I'm not going to make a template because this is almost perfect size. So I'm just going to eyeball it and do it right in the middle. So that is a little less than four. So we're gonna mark it right around two, a little more than two. So that's pretty close. Let me get my pokey tool. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the book. Now, if, see, this is such a small sp a spine that, hold on, let me get my book. This is such a small, I feel like I'm fumbling like crazy today. Maybe it's because I ate breakfast. <laughs> I, no, all right. But it's such a small spine that you know, you can eyeball these. But if, you, if you're if you new at these, my suggestion would be to make a little template so things do line up. And last time I did this, I didn't make a template and they did not line up. So we're going to come down um, about a half of inch. And I'm just going to mark it. I'm not gonna poke a hole, and then I can, um, I might, sorry. I feel like I keep getting out of frame. Let me do a half, half of inch here. And then we're coming down, let me make sure. It's gonna be a little bit more because yeah, I came down two inches. Okay. Be about, about there. Okay. Now, let's, I want to just, well, we're just going to go for it, guys. We're going to go for it. You know what? I don't want to screw this up. I'm, I'm off a little bit. See, I can see it already. And I know you're probably all screaming. Make a template. <laughs> make, a ta make a template. Okay, so there's a hole. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna line up pretty good. Okay. And there's a hole here. See, I'm teaching you guys wrong. And that is not close. It's not close. Not at all. You know why? I marked, yeah. There we go. I thought I saw the pencil mark and I didn't because it was some ink. All right, and then the middle. Let me make sure. Let me just do this. I feel like I'm, yeah, see that's a little bit yeah, that's pretty good. I just didn't want it to be too high. So. And then. And then the middle. 
Okay, let me, sorry about that. I feel like I'm fumbling like crazy today. Um, okay, let me go get my needle and my thread. And you know I don't edit my videos, so you're watching. I suppose I could start doing that, but... I just haven't taken time to, I think there's iMovie here, okay, and I could do it on iMovie, but okay, which color do we want? Probably just, probably just this, I like this though, but I have brown, I've done brown, I think we'll go with the brown, we want that color brown. Or this color. Decisions, decisions. Let's do the darker. Just for interest. Okay, <clears throat> when you're sewing your signatures, you just mark, you need three times the amount of twine. This is waxed linen. You can use twine. I could definitely use twine on this because it's, or jute or um, maybe a heavy duty um, embroidery thread because this is such a small, uh, small book. Okay. Alrighty. Simple pamphlet stitch in through the middle. Or you can start from out and go in if you don't. It's whatever you decide. Okay. Let's take a little bit of strength to pull through sometimes. And going in through the bottom. And I kind of keep my book closed. Okay, that way you don't have to fish it through. Whoops. Oh, it came right off my needle. Oh, my hands today. Okay. This thread is splitting a little bit. Okay. So just hang on to this, or you can clip these. You know, I could clip this. I could pull it right through here so it doesn't pull through. But this isn't a uh, book binding class right now. So we're kind of just, and when you go back through, try not to split the thread. I don't think I did. Okay, come on. I might have though, now that I'm feeling it. No, I think it's fine. Okay, and then back through the bottom side. So you go in one, in the middle, either out one side or the other. Oh gosh, I'm really, f oops, I had it. I'm really fumbling here today. I'm having trouble seeing, I don't know. Okay, and my hands are just, sometimes if it's real tough for me, I'll just take some pliers and work it that way. So I don't think we're going to get much more done today than this, and come on, than sewing this in, and then I'll have to come back to do the tags, because it's getting, I think it's getting pretty long. All right, check your Check your threads, you know, and make them nice and tight. Tighten it up real good in it. That's pretty tight. So then I just simply go in underneath and then cross them over and just tie. I do a two. Okay, there we go. 
there. Let me trim that off. I barely had enough. And let's take the clips off and see how this is. It looks like it's a little high on the bottom. But that's okay because I had a little bit of wiggle room. It's just a small journal, so it's not really going to be sitting on a shelf. So there you go. So there's, there's the little sewn-in journal as you watch me fumble my way through it. Okay, so here's all our pages. Okay, there's our middle. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty centered. That looks pretty good. Okay, uh, let me check for time. We can go for a, a couple more minutes maybe. And what we'll do is let's just take a look at um, back at this and we're gonna decorate this cover a little bit here. Now, do I wanna put a hole here and we have a ribbon tie or, or not? Let me see. No. Oh. We could just do a thing. I, I, I probably will do a little hole here. We might as well do that now. Let me get my grommets or eyelets. And we'll mark, let me see. We said this is four and three quarters. So I think I'm gonna come down at two a little over two and a half. Here's my pencil. Let me let me just do the same. I want the same on both sides. So a little less than two and a half. You see how technical I am with. So I'm just gonna mark that. And that is do the same on this side I don't want to go in too far because I want to make sure I have room in this pocket because that will take away from some of the room in the pocket now let's pick out let me get my crocodile I guess that's what you call this and we'll do a hole I want the bigger, I want the bigger hole. And just line it up where I punched it. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I hope I'm, I hope I've been staying in frame, guys. There we go. Okay, um, see what I have I have these are I have two of these red heart eyelets I think I have two aren't those cute let's use those a ball pin there all right so let me just put these in here that's good Make sure the heart's going the right way. Yep, this is the front. Now I've done that before too. And I've had to rip uh, books apart after they've been, um, yeah, that's good. After they've all been sewn, and I'm talking not one signature, not two, three, four, and five. And because it's, I'm just not, I just, wasn't paying attention and that's frustrating because that's a lot of work to sew in a signature well it is for me because of my hands but all right there we've got little hearts and then we'll figure out what we want to um, tie it with this pretty eyelash trim we'll put that on a 
if I want to use, I'll probably um, hand dye some seam binding. So we'll go and show that later. But anyways, guys, this is where we are now. And I'll come back um, after I've probably done some inking and stuff on these cute pieces of ephemera and these tags and stuff. We'll ink them up and then we'll um, make some tags to go in here. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.